Hello everybody, this is LTM here. Um, how are we doing today? I am about to watch the new <clears throat> Chippendale Rescue Rangers movie. Now, just a little sum up. I have no nostalgia connection with Chippendale. Not just the TV show or just, just Chippendale in general. I never really got into the characters. Um, the only thing closest that I do remember was the Donald Duck cartoons, but that's about it. Um... Uh, Rescue Rangers, I heard from what I can gather, is a Roger Rabbit style movie that, uh, that's been in development for a while now, and, um, it's one of those CG hybrids, and judging by the good reviews, I was really shocked at how high the rating was. Um, but anyways, um, I'm gonna be quiet, I am gonna start the movie right now, and then like always, I will give you all my thoughts, and I will be right back. Okay, everybody, this was Chippendale Rescue Rangers, the movie. Let me shut that off. Okay. Okay, I got the movie back off. So, in the beginning of this video, I said I have very little connection with Chippendale. I don't hate the characters, but I don't have a big nostalgic connection to them, so I can't really compare this movie to the show. However... I am really convinced that the people who were making this actually at least knew what they were doing because, buddy, this film, I loved it, okay? It was it was nuts. This was really fun. I had a fun time with it. It was really funny. I didn't know where it was going to go. I thought it had a great... Well, the story I'm a little mixed on, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so the movie, um, you've got Chip and Dale uh, played by John Mulaney and Andy Samberg who are basically starting a TV show in the late 80s, early 90s called Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Well, once the show was canceled, Chippendale split up, and then 20, 30 years later, uh, Dale says, hey, I wonder how Chip is doing, and they reunite, and Dale wants to make a reboot. However, uh, cartoon characters like Hungry Jack and uh, a few others were kidnapped. So it's up to Chip and Dale to solve the mystery of who... Um, um, who kidnapped uh, Jack and a few of the other Disney characters. I won't go any from there because let's just say it's insane. And I know this sounds crazy, but this was just Space Jam 2 done right. This was a really funny, really hilarious, really fun, really hilarious film. I had a fun time with it. Um, let's get to the good stuff. The writing, although a little weak, at least kind of at least is very self aware that it's a that it's a satire on the Hollywood system, and I do like the fact that they are trying to parody Disney themselves. It's not like Wreck It Ralph two or um or Space Jam where it, it's it, they're integral to the story, but they're not exactly trying to satirize the ideas that they have. This film satirizes the the movie. And the movie loves to poke fun of... And it's not just Disney characters. It's Warner Brothers characters. It's Universal movie characters. A lot of animated character-related stuff. And there's a bunch of hidden cameos and hidden gags in, throughout the film. And I mean throughout, man. I mean, this this movie... And when it comes to the humor, it's like boom, boom, boom. Joke after joke after joke. It was really catchy. It was very punchy. The humor is really funny. There are a few gags that were like, yeah, yeah, I get it. You know, we kind of know... It's a reference to this. It's Disney, aha, uh -huh, you know, because Disney owns this or this studio owns that. I don't know how Disney got away with some of these cameos, but dude, they are some of the funniest and some of the most clever cameos I've ever seen in any film. Um, the characters were fine. Uh, the voice acting was pretty solid. Andy Sam, you know, it's not just Andy Samberg and John Mulaney. Uh, you had um, Seth Rogen, J.K. Simmons, Eric Bana, Keegan Michael Key. This had a really big cast in it, and I gotta tell you, you could tell the, the people who were making this were really having fun with it. I also like the visuals. Now, Dale's appearance does look a little bit uncanny in some parts, but to be fair, at least they try to make it, it it's not like what they, at least they try to make it more appealing, to be fair. Uh, I like the fact that they're using hand-drawn animation mixed with live-action CGI. I also, you know, like, it, I mean, half of it's hand-drawn, characters and some of it's cgi so to be fair if this was all fully cgi it probably wouldn't have probably worked but since this movie is trying to be like roger rabbit which 
I would, I know this sounds a little bit weird, but it's kind of more of a, I call it a more of a spiritual successor than a sequel. It's not a sequel to Roger Rabbit and just a little heads up, Roger Rabbit gets a cameo in this movie in the beginning, just like from the trailer, but it's, it feels, it's like if they took Roger Rabbit and they try to make a spiritual successor out of it. And back to what I was saying before, um, the characters, you know, you could really tell the actors were having really fun with this. And it's like the people kind of knew what they were doing when writing this. Um, if I had a couple problems with the movie is, yeah, the story's pretty weak and kind of confusing. And then there's the third act. I thought the third act might have dragged on a little too much a little bit. It's kind of like, I won't say what happens in it, but it kind of dragged a little bit. And I was like, okay, we're doing this scene and we're doing that. Okay, we get it. It's a buddy cop movie, I understand. Let's just end the movie already. And to be fair, that's that's just one nitpick. Um, the movie was really good. I had I had a blast with it. It's a great no. Though, I hope this movie doesn't influence a lot of other movies. I mean, this movie was influenced by movies like Ready Player One and The Lego Movie, which that's the reason why we have movies like this now. But I think what I'm a little concerned about is that when movies try to follow this sort of trend and tr and what other movies try to do the same thing, they turn out, they turn into stinkers. Which, also, by the way, this movie mocks a lot of mockbusters, too. So, yeah, they were really self... Disney was pretty self-aware with this film. So, overall... Had a blast with it. If you haven't seen it, go watch it on Disney+. Plus. I feel bad because I know this is one of the few Disney films I kind of missed being on the big screen. And th this didn't get a theatrical release. So then again, I got a lot of people saying that they wanted me to watch this. So I'm glad I did. So I give Chippendale Rescue Rangers a 7 out of 10. Despite the third act and some the weak and confusing story, I really recommend going to check this film out. If you love animation, if you love Disney... If, if you love movies in general, if you love just comedic classics, buddy cop movies in general, you'll get a dig out of this movie. All right, guys, that's Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Um, please subscribe, comment below, let me know. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.